The Action News Jax investigates is looking into a law that allows the court to take guns away from potentially dangerous people. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. It's called the Red Flag Law, and we wanted to know how often it's being used in light of this weekend's mass shootings. Action News Jax investigator Jamarlo Phillips is live downtown. Jamarlo, you found out the number of orders has grown significantly since the beginning of this year. And risk protection orders are issued if someone is deemed a threat to themselves or others. In January, we reported to you that there were more than 700 reported risk protection orders in our state. Today, that number more than double. And I also want to tell you, just before the show, we learned that here in Duval County, JSO says they have, uh, they have actually. Um, come up with a number of 67 risk protection orders issued here in Duval County alone. So that's a big number. In the days since the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton, we have found out both gunmen have shown signs of violence. Now President Trump has suggested red flag laws like what we have here in Florida could help. It allows a judge to order someone to give up a firearm. Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson believes it can help. Reasonable people know this. Even people who are suffering from mental conditions shouldn't have guns. But local attorney and gun rights advocate Eric Friday feels different about it. These people are so dangerous that we're taking away their gun rights. Why are they still out on the streets? The law went into effect last March after the Parkland shootings. In January, we told you more than 700 risk protection orders were issued. Since then, that number has doubled to more than 1,700. And the result is it will become something all states embrace because they see the utility in it. Action News Jax investigates requested the number of risk protection orders from law enforcement agencies across Northeast Florida. When Action News Jax told you about Florida's red flag law last year, JSO had petitioned for three risk protection orders. We're still waiting for updated numbers. In Clay County, the agency reported there was no risk protection orders in January, but new numbers show the agency has issued a total of three since then. We asked St. John's County and they told us they issued two this year with one currently under review. Friday tells me he believes there should be more transparency when a risk protection order is issued. However, Carson says the law works and the numbers show it. We're live here in downtown Jacksonville. I'm Jamarlo Phillips, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Chat.